regarding so, the lunar lander. Yeah, it's been kind of a whirlwind. It's been all over all over social media. Um, so like the acting administrator for NASA, Sean Duffy, said that they plan to reopen the, the landing contract for the Artemis 3 mission, which was already awarded to SpaceX back in 2021. And, and as as part of that offense, made a strong defense of SpaceX, talking about how accomplished they are. Obviously, with some justification, SpaceX has done amazing things. Um, but the but but the problem, as as NASA sees it, you know, there are some kind of big tent poles for Artemis that are are behind schedule, and one of them, in in like their view, or or at least in in the view of Duffy, is is the like landing system for Artemis three, which yeah you know, which is SpaceX's Starship. Um, it's still in the testing phase. You no, know, it's had two test flights in the last couple of months and they've both been really successful, but it's still in the testing phase and it hasn't reached earth orbit yet. And it hasn't flown people yet. And Duffy is concerned about, about Starship being ready to land astronauts on the moon in 2028. So that's what drove the announcement that they're going to see if some of SpaceX's competitors, you know, he specifically mentioned blue origin, um, could, could they do it faster or better or cheaper or something? And, so that's that's what kind of provoked Elon's response about talking about he 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 moved from from beyond just just a defense of SpaceX to kind of broadsides against Duffy, calling him Sean Dummy and talking about how he's got a two digit IQ and all this stuff.